Oh, hey, it worked. Wow. What's up, guys? I'm Brad U. Brad Utterstrom. Bradler. Darby O'Gill. Darb. Darby. O'Gill. Pringles. <laughs> um, I guess that's all that nicknames I can think of at the moment. It's day 54 of 100 Days of Sketch Cards for me. And I'm going to start a little sketch card of Tank Abbott here. Um, boy, it's been kind of a weird... I'm having issues with my webcam. When I go to start it up, it takes like several tries all of a sudden. It's like I've been having issues with Windows Media Player too. It's like it just locks up every time I try and play something. So every time I went to start it, you know, just listen to some music, I would have to start it, then it would crash, and I would have to close it down and restart it three or four times just to get a damn song to play. And that's what my webcam seems to be doing right now, too. So I'm starting to think it's something within my computer that I don't have figured out. If any of you computer whizzes have any idea, let me know. Like this, when I click the record thing on my webcam screen, it's like, uh, it gives me a 3, 2, 1 countdown. But then when it gets to 1, it just is stuck. And I have to close it down manually. It's like launcher something or other is not responding. Yada yada. So it's kind of a pain in the nards. <laughs> um, it feels a little weird doing a video because I've been doing the Jeff Lafferty art and Peter Palmiotti artist hangouts. Well, it's Jeff Lafferty's channel. Peter Palmiotti, Peter Palmiotti is usually on there. Mike Fleming Jr. is is Jeff's normal wingman, but something's up with Mike right now. He's not been on it. He's actually never been on it the days I've been on. This is like my fourth or fifth show, and he's never been on it. Uh, but anyway, if you want to check those out, Jeff Lafferty on YouTube. Look him up. And... I've been on there, let's see, three times this week, I guess, and I'll probably be on tomorrow morning as well. And it's similar to my art casts that I've been doing, except there are, you know, two or three or four artists on there, and we're all talking art or whatever comes up while we work. So it's a little, I don't know, it's, it's dissimilar but different. Um... Today, for my daily update video, which is what this is right here, I just kind of thought I'd start drawing instead of have the camera pointed at me, mostly because I haven't showered yet. <laughs> uh, in fact, even just doing this, I'm afraid you guys can smell me. I hope not. Um, and I'm just trying to keep busy. I mean, this is kind of ideally... What I'll do more often is kind of short-ish videos where I'm drawing and talking and updating you guys on what I've been doing. So this morning I did do, well, the last, this week anyway, I did some sketch cards on the Artist Hangout. These are some of them. These three are all now done as far as I'm concerned, and they will be going in next month's Collector Crate. So if you sign up for Collector Crate, if you collect sports cards, pick your sport, baseball, basketball, or football, go to CollectorCrate.com, I hope is what it is, I'm pretty sure, and sign up for one of those packages and you'll get a sketch card print of one of those three cards I just showed you along with a big package of sports cards from your chosen sport. And I think you get to pick a team, things like that. Um, that was kind of my primary, what I was working on today. I finished, let's see, I finished that Cal Ripken this morning, and I finished a Prospect Rush one also on the show this morning. 
And I worked a little bit on uh, F- May Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather, which I'm hoping to maybe do those on the show tomorrow. The guy who is ordering those, who the commission is for. Uh, oh, never mind. I was going to say he asked me if I could do them on a video, but I can't remember if he did or not. I know another person did. Who I'm going to be doing, who I did the Ronda Rousey for recently. He ordered another card and was pretty interested in seeing a video of that too. So it's kind of cool that some of the people buying my work are interested in seeing the process. But at the same time, I don't want to start promising people that I'll do every video, that I'll do every sketch card on camera. There's various reasons for that. Some of them, if I think it's going to be a little more of an experiment, I'm maybe less likely to do to do it on video, like if something's going to you know, present a challenge or whatever. Because I know I can, can work through it and get get something good in the end, but... I don't necessarily want to record it if I think it's going to be a struggle getting there, if that makes any sense. Maybe that's telling you guys too much, too much TMI, too much information. I don't know. There's other things, too. Like, sometimes I feel like doing black and white, and so I'm not going to do a full color one on a, on an art cast. It's definitely easier to do black and white. I mentioned that while I'm chatting it up. So a lot of times I opt for those ones, but I also know that people want to see people, yeah, people want to see, yeah, people, artists working in color, just in part just to change things up and in part just, I don't know. So anyway, we'll see. I don't want to make promises to anyone, but (laughs) it does seem like some of my buyers are enjoying the videos and that's cool. So I'll try and keep them going, at least for that. And the other thing is I want to I want to also show a variety of different things on my videos. So I mentioned on one of the <clears throat> on the artist hangout, but I kind of goofed by doing the the Russell Wilson and Anthony Davis on there because I had been intending to do those individually on my own art cast thing, so I could then post them up on the trading card forums for those sports Um, because I've done some baseball ones now so I maybe don't need to keep doing baseball on video because I've got some for the baseball fans to see Um, so you know I've got a is it this page yeah Yoda here I thought maybe I'll do a Star Wars drawing oh my god I've never done a Star Wars sketch card well I kind of have but not really and Star Wars is one of my favorite shows, movies, subjects, whatever. So so it's silly that I haven't, but I thought maybe I'd do one of those to post up for the non-sport sports collectors. And I don't know. We'll see. Boy, I got to think, today's probably a good day to do a little longer video, but I was planning to just make this like a 10 minute, which, was, which is about what we're getting at now. But my mind is feeling scrambled. Um, I don't really know why. I say that a lot, so maybe I just have a scrambly mind. <clears throat> hey, that looks like Tank, right? Tank's got a pretty distinctive look. This is David Tank Abbott. He's one of the pioneers of MMA. He was the original barroom brawler in the UFC. And my favorite quote of his, they interviewed him before the fight and he said, what's your strategy going into the fight tonight? And he said, I didn't come here to do strategy. <laughs> uh, I think he got his ass kicked. That's probably why. Uh, but he's a badass, you know. He was just like, yeah, I'm tough and I'll knock you out. And if you were not super skilled, he would knock you out. <laughs> And if you knew submissions and stuff, well then, Tank was kind of screwed. Because he didn't really. (laughs) He just knew how to punch real hard. The other thing is, if you could hang in there for two and a half to three minutes, he would be tired. (laughs) And wouldn't be able to fight the rest of the way. But he's, he's an awesome... He was... I wish... 
he had some serious character, you know. Now the sport is so evolved that, like, every fighter has skills in every, you know, ground fighting, stand-up, whatever. He was a one-trick pony with a ton of character, and you just can't, you don't see guys like that too much anymore. You don't see fat guys. You got one fat guy in the entire sport, Roy Nelson, who's still good enough to fight in the UFC. Um, anyway, I'm not going to continue with this tank right now. That, I just, that's how, my, that's how I do my, uh, pencil sketch. Just a real quick, try and get it down, try and get the likeness. And then I'll, honestly, this one, I'll probably put it away until tomorrow. And then I'll look and make sure the pencils look accurate before I go in with the multi-liner and or markers. Um, let's see if I needed to say anything else to, before I wrap this up. Day, what I say? It's day 54. I'm doing, I'm doing the math. I actually think about what's the date. So last month was 28 days. This month I'm at 26. That's 54, right? <laughs> so that's why sometimes I'll start my video and go, it's day, um, and I'm thinking about the dates in my head and trying to do the math. So yeah, today's day 54. I think. I might even have it wrong. Jeez. Um, I'm staying busy. I'm not getting as much done still with, with, during spring break as I thought. And I'm not really sure why. I've been pretty busy. I pretty much took yesterday off, so that didn't help. And it wasn't like I was like, I don't want to draw today. I just I had it. I had plans, and I knew about. I, I had kind of forgot, but ended up being kind of an all-day plan. And then by the time my wife got home from work and we got dinner and all that, I was like, yeah. I don't do any drawing and it, those are the times I guess I just need to do it but I also knew I'd have all day today all day tomorrow and then I drew all day the day before that so I didn't feel too bad about taking a day off I was joking earlier like does that mean I I call I'm calling this a hundred days of sketch cards does that mean my hundred days is a complete failure because I had a day where I didn't do anything Depends on how you look at it. I guess, you know, some of these guys doing 100 days of comics are saying that means I'm doing at least a half hour a day on my own comic. I think that's how most of them are doing it. It's Kevin Cross first, but there's a bunch of people who have jumped on the project. And I think that's how most of them are defining 100 days. For me, it's just a lot looser. It's like I'm doing 100 days of drawing a lot documenting it on video um, and setting you know I'm kind of setting mini goals like the first month was a drawing every day a sketch card every day now it's a little looser it's a, I, I talked a lot about doing experiments maybe I will do a month where I experiment every day but I don't know if that's feasible with trying to meet deadlines and stuff too um, anyway that's good for now. I could keep yapping all night, but I'm not going to. So I'll do it again tomorrow, probably. And like I said, if you want, the artist hangout thing that I've been talking about is actually a live show. So tomorrow at, I think it goes at like 7 a.m.-ish Pacific time, my time, um, for a couple hours. So if you're a morning person and you're bored and you want to click on YouTube and check out Jeff Lafferty's channel at that time? That's probably where you, where you will find me. Uh, and otherwise, the rest of you, I will catch you later. Have a good one.